Listen up, birds. You're in the 25th Sky Cavaliers now. One day you will be the strongest, fastest, and most agile flyers in all Equestria, winging Harbingers of Smackdown, defenders of Equestria in all its glory. At least that's what some PR jockey wrote on the recruiting posters. Right now, I think the dump I took this morning would have a better chance of saving Equestria than you lot. The 25th Sky Cavaliers must do what can't be done, must go where can't be gone, and must be what can't be been. Wait, so it's what now? Skittle Breath, what's your name? It's Rainbow, ma'am. Rainbow Dash. Like hell it is. Whoever you were is now dead. Your parents are now shut your hole and get it done. And they are both exceedingly disappointed in you. You are the first line of defense against any eight-legged, rat-faced, fire-breathing malcontent that dares to threaten our great empire. I don't care if it's changelings, yaks, cows, or your crazy grandmother. Your job is to send hate and discontent downrange to the enemy. We are not dancing on laughter-silvered wings here. You must fly faster, strike harder, and stay focused. You only speak if spoken to. Yes, ma'am. Damn it, what did I just say? You flea-ridden mules. You, what's wrong with your knees? Um, uh, well. Uh, if you're a blithering idiot, then shut up and don't advertise it. You. I, jeez, how are you not dead? Why are you here, maggot? Couldn't find the glue factory? To serve princess and country, ma'am. Great, because I'm your princess now. Well, look at you, you feeble swayback. I bet you couldn't fly past that first flagpole. Try me, ma'am. I'm sorry. What did you just say to me? I said try me, ma'am. Oh, I see. I didn't know you liked having your legs broken. Um, no, ma'am. Someone might think to shoot me. Nah. We got great doctors up here. You'd survive. Please don't break my legs, ma'am. Don't worry. I got something better for you. This is the spinning pew. It's designed to teach you to... It... It just really, really messes ponies up. <laughs> Don't try me again, maggot. You fly, you fly in tight formation, like three little baby birds following a mama bird. Mama bird is always referred to as the bird. You birds got that? So we're all eaters? Damn it! You will not speak until spoken to. Great Celestia, it's like I'm on a game show called Who's the Most Brain Dead, and I'm surrounded by this season's winners. Uh. Do not speak unless spoken to. And cheese for brains. I said the bird, not a bird, as in the Celestia and the Luna and the pony I'm thinking of killing right now. There could be only one. This way there's no confusion, savvy? Hello. Hello. Now you're getting it. Drum, give it 20. Do you think things are just gonna magically work out for you? Do you think you can just sit around all day until some pony makes you into a Wonder Bolt? This ain't some colorful children's fantasy. This is real life with real magical flying ponies. Dash, you just did the freaking Kessel Run in less than 11 parsecs. Uh, is that good, ma'am? Good? You're faster than a falcon. Oh. Uh... Orders have come in for the 25th cap. Dangerous mission. You're my top flyer. I need you as the bird guiding that Santa slave lost toys out there. Briefing at 0700. Questions? Hello? Hello. No questions, ma'am. Luna love you. That's why you're the bird. Now get out there before my hoof finds your wow hole. Your multicolored coat wearies me. All right, listen up. Today you become true Wonderbolts. Equestria's elite airborne Smackdown Masters. One of those massively improbable yet surprisingly common monsters has appeared just 10 clicks off Canterlot. It can actually suck the life force from a pony and burp it into another dimension. Even Celestia's. Our experts refer to this as crazy sick levels of magic, so watch yourselves. Questions? Hello? Hello, but ma'am, how do we kill this thing? We've elected to go with plan A. Fly really, really fast, straight at it. I... and then? Our division is the closest to this thing. You are the first responders, so respond first, ask questions later. Dismissed! Hello. Hello. Okay, Angelings, you take the left flank. Lightning Dust, you take the right. Llama. It's Yama. Uh, it's what? My name. It has two L's in it. Where? At the front. You pronounce it like a Y. Which one? Which what? Which L do I pronounce like a Y? Both. So it's like Yama? No, it's just Yama. So is one of the L's silent? Sure. Which one? Take your pick. Well, does the silence come at the start of your name or right after the Yi sound? <laughs> What was that? We just lost Angel Wings. Oh, it should have been me. Don't blame yourself. I'm not. I, I just don't want to listen to any more of that llama thing. But that's Yama. <laughs> Cower ponies, for I am death. 
the destroyer of worlds. I have harnessed the fourth to make this crazy, sick magic death ray. Okay, team, we have a level three monologuer. You all we know the drill. Extra colors. Dive, dive, dive. Evasive action. We weren't trained for this. This is suicide. What are we gonna do? Llama! It's Llama. Plan A! Draw its fire! I'm going in! Rainbow Dash? Rainbow Dash? Dear? I believe she's gotten a bit of brain damage, ma'am. No pony should go that fast. Hello! Hello. Where am I? Hospital. You took quite a beating, gal, but by God, you beautiful freak of nature, you drove T-Rex back. Where is everyone else? We're Valhalla. You're the only one of the 25th cab who made it back. Do you remember what happened? So many colors. Are you hungry, Rainbow Dash? See? Clearly she has experienced massive trauma. Hello? Hello. Who are you? The bird. Damn Skippy. Brain's fine. Wrap her up and send her home. It's true some days are dark and lonely. And maybe you feel sad, but Pinky will be there to show you that it isn't that bad. Only a few of us have the power to break the fourth. It's all in the script. It's a scary concept, and I think it can be my allies. One little cupcake's not gonna kill ya. Kill me! A tremor in the forehead. God of the Serious? Oh my god. Oh my god, that's... Oh, thank you! Thank you, thank you, thank you! Oh, the editor, you magnificent being! <laughs> oh. oh, of course you could stop it. You're the editor! Oh. Of course you could stop it. You're the editor. So... You could have stopped it earlier. The editor? Why didn't you stop it earlier? I tension? Oh my god. Are you seriously talking about the writings? I almost murdered all my friends, you psychopath! What on earth is wrong with you? I was scared out of my mind what kind of person does that? That was a horrible thing to do. I w a second of pit What? Where the hell am I? What the hell happened to my sandwich? Trixie! Pinky, what's going on? Ponyville's been turned upside down. There's stuff flying everywhere. Pony sacrifice, dogs and cats living together, mass hysteria. Oh no, it's way worse than I thought. 
Okay, look, there's this thing, this monster running around called Discord. He can manipulate the fourth wall, like really manipulate it, way beyond our abilities. And he's trying to come with the editor. Can you stop talking over me, please? A fourth wall monster? No, you didn't. Trixie just said Ponyville's gone crazy. And what about my sandwich? The editor? Uh, hello? Sneaky. I wondered why my fun had been so rudely interrupted. Oh god. Don't worry everyone, we'll be back to our regularly scheduled program in a moment. I'll be with you and Smurfette here in a sec. Right after I take care of this one. <gasps> Did he just call me Smurfette? Trixie, we've got to get out of here. Well, I'm guessing that was Discard. It's Discord. <laughs> Damn it! I can't teleport out. He's stopping me. Truth be told, I'm not going to miss the editor. And apparently, I won't get the opportunity. Wait a minute. Shh. Why are you shushing me? You can just read it. Shh. What? Uh, did he really take the time to write out Ahoe? Also, he misspelled control. The real power? What's the real power of the fourth? Uh, Netflix? Who knows? This is stupid. Wait a minute. It's you. You can help us. Me? No, the viewers, the people out there watching us right now. Oh, you mean my adoring fan. Sure, that one guy and everyone else. Why, well, I have legions of followers. Okay, I, I think I have a plan. But we're dead if you guys out there don't help us out. We're in your hands now. What are you doing? What? Click that link. Hurry! I'm back. <gasps> what? Where'd they go? Wait. Where am I? This isn't the same video. Hang on. Oh. This is very interesting. Well, dear viewers, it looks like you've decided to join in the fun this time, and let those two travesties escape. But why? I mean, you don't really care about them, do you? It was the ponies who trapped me in stone for a thousand years after all. I'm the good guy here. This is one of those just revenge stories you like so much. Tell you what, why don't you help me look for them? Just pick the path you think they might have taken, and we'll get this revenge story going. Come on, we don't have all day. Oh, oh my god! Oh, what the hell? What on earth just happened? How did we get inside your house? I, you guys just appeared here. But how? Where the heck is Pinky? Uh, magic? Twice. Seriously, every other day, ponies just appear in here. I never see them use the door. But... This is different, right? Well, everything is a bit swifty at the moment. What do you mean? <laughs> Haven't you seen outside, man? No. What on earth? What's happened out there? Um, everything's turned upside down. Dogs and cats living together. Mass hysteria, man. Ooh, the vortex just opened up. Well, again? This is this crazy. Like an What's that? Everyone shut up. Shut up. Let's just think for a second. Whatever this is, it's not any worse than cow curses or biological weapons. Well, the vortex just sucked up town hall. Okay, maybe it's a little worse. Oh, the mayor is not happy about that. Okay, think. Last night, Pinky told me that something really bad was gonna happen. Hey, wh why the hell did Pinky try to hit you? Pinky tried to hit her? Tried to kill her, more like. No way, man. Pinky wouldn't do that, man. Well, she did. Are you sure it was Pinky? Um, it sure looked like her. But it could have been a changeling. So why didn't she finish the job then? 
And how did we end up here? Maybe it was the vortex. It just put Town Hall back. Well, here's my guess. Is it magic? No. Well, okay, yes, but I think Pinky's being possessed. Possessed, man? Now the Vortex is apologizing to the mayor. The bird, can you stop, please, f for just a moment? Whoa, it is not a good day for the Vortex. The bird, get away from the window. So why does possession make more sense than a changeling assassin? I've been studying up on possession spells. You can tell if someone's possessed from their eyes. They become excessively... cute. Why were you studying up on possession spells, Twy? Spike... <sighs> That's my working theory, at least. Her eyes were strange. Yeah, and that smile, um, it looked all high definition or something. So that other night, when I had that uncontrollable urge to bring you ice cream. Anyway, the point is there is a magic spell that can counter that. You know what, before I get compelled to serve anyone canapes, I'm taking a walk. Well, um, if we can solve- <laughs> ah! Ow! Ow! What the- Ugh. Why does everything taste green? What are you jerks doing in my house? Wait a second. What did you guys do? It's a changeling assassin! What? No, just no. Why is there another me? And what is wrong with your voice? Certainly sounds like something a changeling would say. You know what happened to your voice? No, guys, it's cool. I know this, Twilight. Yeah, we all know each other, Dash. It's pronounced the bird. No, it's Dash. Did you hit your head again? Wait, you know her, the bird? Yes, we're basically besties. She was gonna take me yodeling. Dash! The bird. I, no, I wasn't! And don't tell them that! Wait, why do you keep calling her Dash? Why do you keep calling her bird? The bird. Stop it! I'm not calling you that! Okay, how do you know her, the bird? She was in the other dimension. Other dimension? Wait, um, is she from- Oh. That other dimension. What other dimension? Um, about a year ago, Princess Celestia sent us on a mission to this other dimension. I don't remember hearing anything about this. Ugh, so that's why your dash is so screwed up. Our the bird is perfectly fine, thank you. Yeah, and a moldy loaf of bread would look great to a starving mare. You want to say that again, Gumdrop? Gumdrop? Even if you guys did visit us before, apparently, it doesn't explain why I'm here now. Pinky! <laughs> I've never been in one of those before. Well, except for that one segment in the middle of the podcast award show, but people would really have to do some digging if they really wanted to find that one, so it barely counts. That is not Pinky. Oh no, she is possessed, man, by a crazed lunatic. Pinky, is that you? Oh, hi, I didn't see you there, local Twilight. I'm Pinkie Pie from Camaraderie is Supernatural. Uh, wait, Camaraderie is Supernatural? The one and only? I know it's been a while, but you know, video takedowns and all that. I, but I saw your universe. It was destroyed. Huh? Destroyed? What are... Oh, right! That short you did where you hopped across dimensions. I almost forgot about that. Nice work on that, by the way. Good message, solid production values, clever integration of another abridged series continuity. No, no. What you guys wound up in was one of our Splinter Timelines. I, what the heck just happened? I didn't understand a single word of that. What the heck is a Splinter Timeline? Oh, I'm glad you asked. Well, see, the Camaraderieverse operates on multiverse time travel rules, so every time the Doc and I changed the past, it created a new timeline that exists independently from the one we left. So when we would mess up in the meta, whatever their names were, got away with the planet egg keeping our world alive, we would just go back again, causing the creation of a new timeline where we would potentially fix things. Of course, we went through 492 of them trying to get it right, so I'm not- Okay, thanks. Wow, that's- thank you. I I'm glad you're not dead. Anyway, nice crossover you got going here. So is this an everyone is here scenario or a crisis on infinite abridged scenario? Uh, we're just trying to figure out what's going on. The world's gone crazy and ponies from other dimensions are showing up now, I guess, in my house for some reason. Aw, didn't even hurt. Like that? And there's another one. Aw, damn. You're those jerks I don't like. Aw, but we like you. Whoa, um, another me. Hey, aren't you that pony who keeps staring at me through my bathroom mirror? <sighs> um, you talk to my reflection too? Oh, nuts. Is this gonna happen to everyone? That, or we all start fighting each other like in every other crossover. Wait, 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 wait. So, so other rarity, you're from another dimension too, right? Uh, 
I think she's talking to you, other rarity. I, you're the other rarity. No, you. Stop. We need a better way to distinguish ourselves other than other. Um, why don't we call me Rarity 1 and you Rarity 2? Why am I Rarity 2? Um, my universe, my rules. All right, fine. You can be Rarity and I'll be Twilight. No, no I'm, I'm Twilight. Twilight. And I'll be the bird one. No one else is dumb enough to call themselves the bird, Dash. The bird. Stop it. Oh, good Lord. Are we going to have to explain this every time one of you doppelgangers shows up? Probably. I wasn't even listening to the first explanation. So let me get this straight. You're all from different dimensions. Yes, we've established that, Brainiac. Well, we gotta stop this before more starts showing up. But why is this happening? You've got a leak in your house. A leak? Mm -hmm. A leak of fourth dimensional chaos. Fourth dimension... The fourth. Uh-oh. What do you mean, uh-oh? Okay, so I have some good news, and I have some bad news. What could possibly be the bad news, man? I can't fix this. When it comes to this fourth wall magic, I, I can't do anything with it. And the good news? Pinky does. Wait, you're a Pinky. Do you know how to fix this? Well, unfortunately, every fourth wall crisis is different, and this could be caused by any number of factors. Like, it could be a cross-dimensional invader, or the world fading due to lack of new fiction, or just an animator messing around with stuff because they're bored. Ah. Well, that would be our pinky. We're gonna have to get her back. And how are we gonna find her? Mmm, there's a spell for it. Well, this has all been fun, but I'm going back to bed. Aw, oh, no, you're staying right here, sugar cube. Stop calling me food! It's my house, and I can go to bed if I want. Uh, it's my house, and no one leaves until we get pinky back. Just give me, like, five minutes, and I think I'll have that spell ready to go. Give me, like, two minutes, and I can be back asleep. Shh! I need to concentrate. You want to know what I do whenever I need to concentrate? I just block out all distractions. Yes, sir. I'll just block it all out so I can concentrate. Have you tried blocking out all distractions yet? Are you trying it now? I tell it you what, I have everything blocked out. Not a single thought ever goes through my head, which is why I'm so good at concentrating. Are you concentrating now? How about now? Hey, are you concentrating yet? I need you to listen very carefully and block out all unnecessary noise. You need to concentrate. Am I helping you concentrate? You let me know if you need help concentrating. Stop! It's you! The Pinky from the other series! Oh, thanks, Celestia! We must have ended up in- Oh, this is perfect! We could really use- What- What are you doing? Where are we? Appaloosa. Don't you worry about what we're doing. In case it ain't obvious, this really ain't a good time. But even if it were, Universe A, y'all should know that we took measures to prevent each other from crossing over again. You shouldn't be here. Okay, look, there's this creature, Discord. He's destroying our dimension, and he's way too powerful for us to stop alone. No, no, that's not possible. Discord is Equestria's prisoner. It has been for decades. Well, maybe in your universe, but in our reality, he's free and taking over. We only just barely got away. It's only a matter of time before he finds us again. We need to act stop. quickly. I understand your situation is desperate, but you two need to leave now. If your universe has a Discord separate from ours, then it is your problem. That's your fight, not ours, and fuck you for bringing it to us. You're... you're turning us away? No, you... you can't. We, we need your help. <gasps> Damn girl! Sorry, we, we understand your plight. I don't... But surely you... But you aren't considering the damage you could be doing here. Discord is a monster with unrivaled power. If you start jumping from universe to universe collecting allies, how long do you think it'll be before it gets the same idea? Our Equestria has fought the beast for centuries. The closest we've ever been to having an edge on it is now. And even after all this time in our custody, we still haven't figured out how to kill it. 
One discord is an impossibly difficult battle. But since both of our universes haven't been destroyed yet, I believe it's a winnable fight. But two discords coming together, three, four, the multiverse is over. We're all lost to whatever its twisted will is. We're sorry, but you two need to leave before you bring it here. Well, then come with us. We'll take the fight back to our world. If we move quickly and with the extra firepower, we can end this before it even gets reinforced. No! We're not getting involved in your war! That's our universe's final say on the matter. We ain't an option in your fight. Now get out of here. You can hop back through that tear on your own, or we can throw you through, but you two are leaving. I am sorry. If it's any consolation, if our time comes and we have to battle our discord, we won't come to you for help. I can't believe what I'm hearing. How can you think this way? We're you. We're, we're the same. We could figure something out. Yeah, maybe we are and maybe we could. Now get the f*** out of here. I wish you best of luck killing your discord. I... Trixie, big fan of your work. Uh, thanks. Ah! Ah, this is the life. Spike, remind me how long it's been since something completely asinine happened? I think it's been about a week? Scratch that, since now. I have very little time to explain this. The time travel spell only lasts a few seconds. I'm all ears. Listen to me, me. As you can see, Dash is Rainboon's center forward in time. You need to get to the Royal Library, find a time travel spell, and send Rainbow back to when she displaced herself through time space at the flight contest. Also, because of her, our timeline will loop. So you need to send yourself back like I did and tell yourself exactly what I'm saying to you right now. If you screw any of this up, the current timeline will break and the universe will end. Alright, got it. Okay, Rainbow, you stay here, I'll be right back. Spike, did you find any references on time travel spells? Apparently every spellbook about it is in the Candlelight Library. It's in the Star Spell the Bearded section. Well alright then, we'll head on over to the Candlelight Library ASAP. We'll send Rainbow back and be done with this mess before the day is over. The libraries are boring! Oh, Pinky, I wasn't expecting you. Don't you usually teleport around with less flair? Plus I don't detect your radiating demonic presence. And why are you with that last Pegasus stripper? What? Uh, what? Wait, what? What do you mean, what? What I mean by what is, what is going on here? What do you mean, what is going on here? Twilight, stop saying that word! Stop saying what? Yes! I don't know what in the fresh hell's going on. When I was sent the script, it was broken up into like eight separate PDFs. Uh, it's not that bad. It, it, it looks adequate. Do we really need to find out why you should be radiating demonic energy? Um, yeah, you know, may maybe it's best to find a, a safer universe. Let's go. Uh, oh. What? This universe is kind of weird. It seems we can only leave via the end cards here. So, we're just stuck here until the episode finishes? Yeah, conveniently unfortunate. Damn it! Well, maybe we should just have them resolve their episode conflict quicker, so we can leave? <sighs> Fine. We're doing nothing to but just another time. Guys! What? what? <sighs> Look, we're sorry for all the confusion we've caused you. I should probably explain what's going on to me and Trixie here. You see, I'm not the pinky you know. We're from a different abridged series, and we're trying to hide out from our Discord after a total collapse of the fourth wall. 
It's probably best if we don't stay here for too long, so could you guys possibly speed up whatever you're gonna do so we can move on before he has a chance to spot us? What is this? A crossover episode? Well, yes, I, I guess it is. Can I just say, from an outside perspective, that this exchange is not nearly as funny as the writers thought. Well, I thought it was funny. Glad we're on the same page then. We'll just head to the Canalot Library to prevent a total collapse of your timeline. A total collapse of your timeline? What would cause that and how can you go fix it right now? I'm not saying it again. We already explained it in the intro and it would be boring to tell it to the audience again. Jeez, Twilight, breaking the fourth wall like that seems really out of character for you. I agree, Spike. But as our visitors said before, the fourth has been destroyed. So that means I'm allowed to be meta. Even though to me, this all sounds like self-serving bullshit. Rude. What was that noise? Sensor bleep. Seriously? A sensor beep? This is our universe. Why did you bring your PG-13 bullsh- Bull poop here. Rules of the crossover. It's out of our hooks. Ugh. Well, all right then. Let's get you two out of here so I can make use of profanity again. Whoa! You two, did you feel that? Feel what? A disturbance- I swear to Celestia, if she says a disturbance in the force, I'm going to lose it. The fabric of reality. All right, that was much worse. It was like she was intentionally avoiding the joke. We have to go find me. What? I, uh, already found you? No, silly, not me. The other me. Well, yes, that's who I found. I found you, faker. Faker? I think you're the faker when you're around here. You're comparing yourself to me? Huh. You're not even good enough to be my fake. Oh, grand. That's great. A reference. I'll make you eat those words. Is that directed at me? Because this all feels really superfluous. Better call him A. Better call him B. Wait, is that a reference to their series? Yeah. How would you know that? Because I've watched it. Also, is no one else concerned that she isn't phased about the fact that she's talking to herself? Look who's talking! If you're done playing out your obligatory cameo, can we go? I really want to get this over with. Get right over with? It's a long story, but the gist of it is that I need to send Rainbow back in time, and then these two can leave, because end cards? I don't get it. Oh my, is it Saturday already? Yep. Do you have to deal with extra-dimensional threats on a weekly basis? Not usually extra-dimensional, except maybe when Pinky summons more of her demon folk from Tartarus. And when I ate Applejack's soul. Oh yeah, and that. Can we please get out of here? Yeah, we should get going. Pinky, don't blow up the town while I'm in Cantalot. Oh, trust me, Twilight, I have much bigger plans than blowing up just the town. I'm gonna pretend I didn't hear that. Yo, Scooter Trick, let's go. I'm fairly sure it's just one word. Shut up, Spike. Don't you think we should be a bit concerned that time travel spells are just lying around in a public library? I don't think any simpleton in this country even knows what a library is. Can I say simpleton? Or is that not fitting with the PG rating? Do whatever you want. Come on, we need to hurry up. Your writing team is awful. Ugh, fine. Spike, let's just find the spell so we can get everyone back to where they need to be. Psst, take me with you. Ah. Uh, so, what are alternate dimensions like? Similar, but slightly different. What do you want to know? Well, I just want to know if my coolness as a trans-universal constant is all. Yeah, sure. The bird's pretty alright, I suppose. What? I'm a bird in your universe? No, your name is the bird. What foul sorcery besieged me to turn into a bird? How will I ever fulfill my dreams of becoming an Applewood actor now? You're an actor in this universe? Pinky, don't humor her. Filmmaker, actually. I'm working on a screenplay called The Snad. The Snack? No, The Snad. Snad? Snad. S Snad? 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 No, it's The Snad. As invested as I am in your exuberant film career, I actually am not invested. I lied. Can we just move on? All right, Rainbow. Get in the time portal. Hooray, time travel. Oh, Spike. I'll be right back. I just remembered I need to use a time spell to go back and warn myself about all this so we don't collapse the timeline. Do you want to warn yourself about all this extra dimensional nonsense this time? Well, if future me didn't have the courtesy to warn myself about it, why should I show myself the same kindness? What? Yes, great. Well, uh, okay, bye. Later, simpletons. So, uh, 
What's with all the flying stuff? It's a magic thing. Ponies will have it fixed in like 10 minutes. Ah. Good. Hey, when you were coming over here, did you see that flying moose outside? Yeah, I saw it. <laughs> that was pretty funny. Yeah, that was, that was that was pretty funny. That made my day. Yeah. Ah. Donut Joe, you're too good for this place. Why do you stay in this pub? Well, it's really satisfying work. Uh, getting up in the morning, deep frying the donuts. I guess that's satisfying. It is. Also makes a lot of money. Ponies freaking, they freaking love donuts and cake. Yeah, that's kind of weird. I try not to question it. The first restaurant I had was a grass restaurant. What's that? It's a restaurant where you eat grass. Oh. I thought I'd make a lot of money, because, like, that's what we eat. Makes sense. But I didn't get much business. You see, grass, it's on the ground. It's everywhere. But if you want grass, just go get some. But donuts... They only come to Donut Joe for donuts. You know, Donut Joe, I can always count on you to be the voice of reason. You better believe it. So let me ask you something. Do you like Ponyville? You mean, like, in a romantic way? No, just living there. Of course! Ponyville's great! Seems like there's always something weird or dangerous or magical going on. Well, this is Equestria, ruled by magical princesses and filled with colorful ponies that can fly, talk, and zap stuff. I think it'd be weird if nothing happened. I think that's why ponies like donuts. I'm sorry, how do donuts come into this? Well, like I said, they aren't grass. Grass is everywhere. Magic is everywhere. But donuts are just here. And they're just donuts. They don't do anything you wouldn't expect. You just eat them. And they taste good. So what are you saying? If you like donuts, eat donuts. If you like grass, eat grass. Donut Joe. Do you eat donuts? Actually, Spike, I like to make donuts, but I like to eat grass. Wow. Keep it real, Donut Joe. Oh, yeah. Okay, it's gonna be alright. If we just keep series jumping, maybe... Trixie? Trixie? Where are you? Uh-oh. I hope she didn't end up in another series. Hello there, friend. Ah, oh, uh, hey there, fellow Pinkie Pie. How are you? Great. You know I'm feeling really confident. I think I got this one in the bag. Uh, got what in the bag? The competition. You know, the one to find a new Pinkie Pie. A new Pinkie Pie? What happened to the old one? I don't know, but who cares? This is my big chance. I've got a character trait that's really gonna knock him dead. Oh, yeah? What is it? Well, I'm just like a regular Pinkie Pie, except I love to eat marshmallows. It's foolproof. Incorrect suffix on the word fool there, I think. I mean, sure, I don't have any marshmallows now. They had all run out at the store. But once I get them in my mouth, I'll be all like, Hey, look at me and my marshmallows. Oh, yeah, that's... Well, good luck with that. What about you? What's your character treat? Are you like Pinkie Pie, but you have a really boring voice? What? No. I I'm just... Observant, I guess. Ding, that's a shame, because you are really nailing that boring voice. All right, all right. We can't all have a bad ethnic accent. Wait a minute. Uh, where is this competition you speak of? Maybe a gathering of pinkies could help me come up with a plan. Or at least a hiding place. It's like they say. You want to hide a forest? It's inside the trees. Wait, is that right? Never mind. Le lead the way, marshmallow friend. Okie dokie, follow me. Greetings, Pinky Pieians. You have all been gathered here today to replace our dearly departed Pinkie Pie 2, who sadly and mysteriously died when she accidentally stabbed herself in the back while she was asleep. We may never know how that happened, but I'm pretty sure we could hazard a guess. You start guessing and I'll give you hazards. Murdered? Fine! Anyway, one of you lucky Pinkies is going to be the replacement. So... Go. Start. Impress me with your pinkiness. Hi, hello, um, quick question. If you needed to defeat an all-powerful being bent on world destruction, how would you do it? You have a beef with Princess Celestia, because if you do, I will tell on you for brownie points. No, no, th this is just a hypothetical. Then just shoot them with your hypothetical laser beams. Are there any other stupid questions? What's a question? Okay, we are moving on from this. Let's see here. You! Pinkie Pie! Who, me? No, not you, the other one. What kind of things can you do? Oh, I love to eat marshmallows! Sweet! 
Can you show me? Oh, well, they were all sold out at the store, but I swear it's really cool. Ooh, it's a no from me. Ooh, bad luck. Yet so close, and yet so, um, not quite close enough. Wait, what is wrong with me today? Okay, how about you over there? Who, me? No, dang it, I will tell you when it is your turn. I meant Pinkie Pie. I have fingers, 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 I have fingers all day long. Fingers, 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 everybody sing the fingers song. You, you killed her. Well, yeah, we can only have one Pinkie Pie. But you killed her. Well, why would you do that? You know, I'm pretty sure I made myself clear about the whole stupid questions thing. But it doesn't make sense. Just a minute ago, you were complaining about the other Pinkie Pie getting killed, and now you just murdered one yourself? No, this is different. You see, this Pinkie Pie was annoying me specifically. Totally different circumstances. Speaking of which, is anyone else here really annoying? I'm kind of annoying! I appreciate and thank you for your honesty. See, I can be kind towards my fellow ponies. Now let's get you killed! <laughs> this is sick. What is wrong with you people? How could you just kill myself like that? Look, I'm not happy about this either. First I have to choose a new Pinkie Pie, then Rarity has disappeared to Celestia knows where, except Celestia won't tell me because it's just too hilarious or something, and finally, Applejack didn't have any footage of her talking in this scene, so she has to deliver all of her lines from off camera! Screw you, Twilight! Oh no, poor you. You know, you can just pick a pinky, you don't have to kill us. And maybe you should get someone who doesn't suck at editing to put Applejack in the scene. And I bet your rarity's perfectly safe in some place stupid. Huh, okay. Let me go check. Uh, wait, did, did she just disappear? Or is your editing really that bad? Oh, Rainbow Dash came back from the dead once. No one knows how she does anything. Okay, I'm back now. Great, did you find Rarity? Yup. And did you bring her back? Nah, I just left straight away. It was really boring over there. Stupid me. Of course Ultrafast would be no help. Hey, put that away. I didn't say that. You're a real piece of work, you know that? Hey, you can just leave if you don't like it. So how about you make like a cake and go eat that cake somewhere very far away from me yeah well why don't you bark like a tree and make belief that wasn't right am i getting stupider oh my gosh does your world turn pony stupid because you legally have to tell me if your world makes pony stupid nobody here is stupid now stand still so i can kill you whatever your name is what did i do for the last time i am not talking to you i am talking to pinkie pie oh god you didn't do anything to my trixie did you was she here? Was she originally in this scene? <sighs> no. Well then obviously she can't be here, can she? Ugh, unbelievable. I'm out of here. Bye, mysterious stranger. See you at the final confrontation. Why did that chick have a dude's voice anyway? Who cares? Now we can finally get back to slowly and methodically choosing our new pinky. Ah, screw it. <laughs> <laughs> Many Pinkie Pie is dying! Congratulations! By unanimous decision, you are the new Pinky. Would you like to say a few words? Don't worry, Bruce, I won't let you down. Otherwise, may I be struck down by the Keeper of Death, and my soul be caused into the thousand fires of the underbelly of the damned! Oh, come on! It's just the same one we had before! You can't kill me! I'm a mortal, baby! I ain't going nowhere! That does it! We're going on hiatus again! <laughs> Where are we now? Hey, is one of you my pinky? Uh, Trixie, didn't you just run away crying about your cart being destroyed? Rainbow Dash, as much as I'd like to go on with your comedic misunderstanding, this is obviously not our Trixie. Pinky, what are you saying? We're in a crossover. Okay, great. So, did you see another pinky running around? She looks pretty much identical to you. Besides me, and that one time with a weird lake. Not really. Wow, okay. Do you want to, like, react or anything? Nah. nah. We're good. Great. Well, you're clearly reading the script. Are you concerned about the fourth wall monster or anything? We make, like, an episode a year, maybe. So we aren't too worried. I don't even know if this crossover is going to have any effects on our show anyway. Yeah, good luck having an impact on your own existence with that attitude. That's nice. I hate you. Hey, Pinky, since when did you get so intelligent? And for that matter, why did you break the fourth wall so much? I wouldn't worry too much about that. This video is in canon, I think. I don't think that's how the rules of our show work. Yeah, whatever. Hmm. 
Well, princess, what will it be? Yes. Then you will die. Uh, wait, what? I said yes. You said yes? Yes. Yes, as in, yes, Sombra, you win and I want to rule over Equestria in my sister's place, yes? That kind of yes? Eh, you made some good points in your monologue. I did. Yeah, I did. <laughs> I took a class at the community college, you know. Uh, good. Money well spent. Miss Cheerley always said, write what you know. She also said I was doomed a lot. Uh, I... Mm. Anyways, uh, welcome to the team. Uh, hey, what gives? You said we were going to team up. No, I said yes. Yes, but then... Yes, you crept... Talking. But my speech! You said I made some really good points! You enslaved an entire population by creating an army of zombies from the ponies you killed! Well, you can make anything sound bad with that tone. What about a thousand years of peace? I will tell you what I told Celestia. The ends do not justify the means! But you can't say that you like Celestia. A troll? A cur? You support her ways? Why do you stick up for her? Celestia can be a pain. And annoying. And sometimes I really just want to throw her face into that stupid window. But she's not evil. And she does care about her subjects. In her own way. And she was right about you. You do talk a lot. Okay, now that's getting personal. Such a shame. In the end, you are just as stupid as your sister. Now you two can feast on the horror of a thousand poets' darkest fears. <laughs> what? Nightmares. Really? I... What? You think you can paralyze me with nightmares? Well, it worked with Celestia. I literally stroll through nightmares every night. I protect ponies from nightmares every night. I end nightmares every night. I am the nightmare of nightmares. This isn't possible! And it's time for your nightmare. Hello, newcomer! It's me, Princess Celestia, everyone's favorite Friendship is Witchcraft character. Friendship is Witchcraft? What are you talking about? I'm so glad you asked. The world of Friendship is Witchcraft is zany, complex, and self-aware. Our unique spin on the world of equines is full of all kinds of clever, highbrow shenanigans. For example, some of the ponies are actually robots. Take Sweetie Belle, for example. It, is she gonna say something? Only if she feels like it. She has free will, after all. Or does she? Uh, wait, what? And that's not the only goofy resident around these parts. Take the main six, for example. They include a sporty idiot, a traumatized war veteran fashionista, a non-traumatized war veteran country hick, a murderously evil shy girl, a singing time-traveling gypsy, and a megalomaniac incestuous sociopath. Oh god, those traits sound awful. This place sounds like a nightmare. It is. And also, you mean a nightmare. Like a horse, right? We're pretty big on puns here. That's how we keep it fun. Fun? Um, they're awfully quiet. Why, why are they just standing there? I'm sure they're just thinking of what to say. There's also the student six, 
introduced in Friendship is Witchcraft episodes 11 through 19. They include a kleptomaniacal stoner, an Irish alt-right Reddit user, a money-obsessed robber baron who is raised by wolves, a struggling actor slash birthday clown, a traumatized war veteran fashionista, and a Japanese samurai. And they're all just staring and... That's a, that's a lot to keep track of. Oh, you'll need to keep track of everything in this universe because there's constant callbacks to previous jokes. For example, remember me, Princess Celestia? I was featured earlier in this segment. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I was. I, you were in the... Um... And over there is Starlight, Glimmer, and Trixie. They're lesbians. Oh? Yep. That was our clever twist on those characters. No one's thought of that. And who's that? Oh my god, he's hideous! Jesus Christ! Ugh! What? What even is that thing? Ugh, I wanna throw up? You just ruined my day. Oh god, um, I I'm sorry. I hope it's not in pain because it looks like it would be in pain. Hold on while I make this unsightly monster disappear. <laughs> Oh, wow. You just have such crazy magic powers, huh? Yes, sir or ma'am. I definitely didn't use my incredible magical abilities to place a silencing spell on this entire crazy universe just so I could get a few fleeting moments of peace and quiet. No siree or ma'am I- but by didn't, you mean... you did? What? What was that? Damn it! Who is playing that trumpet? I thought I killed you. Well, I, I hate to interrupt you and everything, but, uh, you know, I'm from another dimension, and I need to find a way back to my own meta-universe. Oh, well, seeing as you're a pink pony, why don't you just open the portal, jump in? Yeah! I, was that a callback? Yes, it was. Unlike Yona, the struggling actor, she never gets callbacks. <laughs> Alrighty, well, that's, you know, this has been fun. Um, could you do me a solid and- Talk about eye candy! Do me a solid and teleport me back to where I need to be? Seeing as you're crazy powerful and everything. Crazy and powerful. I'm crazy and powerful. Get it right, you little sh- Hail Celestia. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. All hail Celestia. Now, can I go home? Only if you say the magic words. Please? Nope. <clears throat> Thank you? Nope. Pretty please with sugar on top? <sighs> yeah, that's the one. Oh, my God. <sighs> Finally, some peace and quiet. Now, what was I doing again? Oh, that's right. Finally enjoying some peace and quiet. <laughs> that goddamn trumpet. Where are you? Show yourself! You're the last piece of the nightmare I must destroy! Sometimes a random star just comes in and saves the day. Everyone, shut up! I'm trying to do a spell. Always look both ways before crossing the street. So saith the wise owl. You need to f***ing stop this sh before our f***ing gets f***ed. Did I miss the next episode of f***ing One Piece? For the last time, you've got to stop swearing. I have no idea what you're saying. You just sound like a casino full of slot machines that just hit the jackpot. I said One Piece, you bitch. What if she's just saying She's not saying How do you know? Look, this dimension's Twilight. I'm not this dimension's Twilight. Okay, this dimension's Twilight. Mm, yeah, the wise owl noticed the library sign outside was misspelled. I, really? For the spell, did you try turning your magic off then on again? I, that's not the problem. Why don't you just spell the sign correctly? Oh my god, the bird! You, could you guys, like, help us with something? Who? But you! Just everyone here! The spell is really draining me, and I don't have enough power to summon Pinky. She's the only one I know who can maybe fix this. Actually, I've been here the whole time, remember? Not you, Pinkie Pie. I mean, you know, Pinkie Pie. Wait, I'm confused. Which one of us is Pinkie Pie? Am I Pinkie Pie? No, you're Pinkie Pie 4. Maybe we're all Pinkie. No, our Pinkie. You seem to have a problem with your dorsal synthetic charm casing. You need to realign No, stop. No, no, no. Never, never speak again. Ever. But no. Excuse me. Excuse me. What? There was some kind of portal in my outhouse, and 
I see there's a whole lot of- Yes! Hello! This is a parallel universe. I... No, it's not toxic. Yes, we are all parallel versions of you! No, do not touch them! Yes, our voices sound hauntingly like the same person. And no, you may not be called Applejack 1. Oh, okay. Um, where's your bathroom? <sighs> Upstairs. Huh, they seem to be quite viscerotonic. The heck kind of rarity knows the meaning of viscerotonic? The love of- can someone just help us, please? Uh, I'm a Pegasus. I can't do any magic. Okay, fine. I need myself, Rarity, Rarity, Twilight, and me to do the summoning spell. With our powers combined, I am... I mean, we'll get her back and stop her from murdering us if she's possessed. It's not like you guys are doing anything better anyway. You're stuck here. I literally just got her, and I'm leaving now. Goodbye. The last time you guys are... Wait, where'd she go? She returned to her universe, you fool! Wait, what? You can do that? The wise owl thought you more perceptive than this. You know, I liked it when my owl didn't talk. You can't understand him? Yeah, we can leave at any time. We just walked in. We can just walk out. I... No way! Yeah, I'm gonna go. Oh, come on! I'd love to help, but as an earth pony, I can't cast magic. Come on, Rarity, you're making us look bad. You be quiet, Pinkie Pie 7. I'm leaving too. Wait, don't go! It's been interesting, but, uh, well, good luck. Here, I have some magic to spare. Oh, thank you. Your pinky is possessed, right? Yes, she just said that. Holy s***. You ponies are so freaking slow. Okay, vote to murder the bird? Wait, what? Fruitcake, not you! Well, I can't use magic, but, um, I could tickle your pinky with my wings, or give her a really disapproving look, or beat the living s*** out of her. Now I'm saying I don't think tickling her is gonna stop her from punching your face off, gal. Well, I'm not so good at magic either, but I can help. After all, I'm an expert in knowing what makes a pinky pie tick, and also an interdimensional travel quantum mechanics, ultra-tars, future sight, online fiction writing. The wise owl possesses more power than you could ever dream of having. The wise owl shall assist you in your quest. Don't worry, I won't let you down. Or my name isn't Pinky Piratey the 13th. Um, weren't you leaving? Yeah, okay. I think we have enough magical beings here to pull this off. Thank you all so much for staying, it means a lot. Here's what we need to do. What on earth? Whoa. Trixie? Trixie? Are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Clever trick. Yeah, Discord may control the fourth, but not the audience. Well, duh. My fans could never betray me. <sighs> well, they can only help us escape. And it doesn't look like any of the other bridge series are gonna help us either. Did, did, did we expect them to be helpful? From now on, rule one is stick together. But if we split up, we could cover more ground. Hello? <gasps> Scatter! No, Trixie, wait, Trixie, wait! Ha! Ha! Gotcha. Quick, get me out, get me out! Oh no, you don't. Ah, the editor? The editor, help! The editor can't help you now. What did you do to him? I've restricted him to administrative minutiae. Uploading videos, making thumbnails and descriptions. No more editing. No more editor. It's just us characters in here now. Okay, okay, l let's just talk about this. What is there to talk about? Why are you so dead set on killing me and my friends? Why do I need a reason? Uh, but you- Hang on. What? Shut up! No, you! Um... It's that damn the editor in the description! He just doesn't know when to stop! Oh, yeah, he, he doesn't. I'm just gonna have to find a more permanent solution for him. Anyway... Wait, 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 wait! So you were locked away for a thousand years, and... And and you said you you want to have some fun, right? That is something I've written. Yes. Well, why don't we have um uh a challenge, a test of strength, you versus me? Ridiculous. Scripting. I can control the script better than you can. Cliche. Might be fun. Hmm. This would be like your one chance to write against someone. I'm basically the only one who can write scripts, besides you, of course. Oh. Why not? It does sound entertaining. This page is our reality. Whatever is written, happens. Agreed.
begin. Okay, calm down, Pinky. Calm down. Think. Maybe if I find some place that doesn't have a script? A place where he'd be powerless? Oh, I don't need a script to destroy you, Pinky. I edit, too. Ah! Get me out! Get me out! Someone get me out! <laughs> Damn it, Discord! Get me out of here! The editor! Help me! Trixie! The viewers! Someone help me! Help me! Help! Yikes, that was too close. Now, where am I? Uh, is someone there? I'm warning you, I'm great and powerful. Hello? Hello? Oh my god! It's another pony! Have you come here to rescue us? How did you even get here? I teleported. Who the hell are you? We're from the 25th Sky Cavaliers. We were on a mission to destroy Tarek. He got the drop on us and blasted us. Well, here. Ah yes, Tarek. Some would say his dabbling in the Force to be unnatural. D did he get you too? No, I teleported. I said that already. I'm trying to keep away from some crazed monster called Discord. Discord? You mean, like, the statue? What statue? In the Royal Gardens, the statue of Discord. Supposed to be some powerful monster, forever imprisoned in stone by the princesses. Oh. Well, I guess he got better. No way, that that can't be Discord. It is said that he could only escape if ponies started messing with the dark and ancient magic. Oh, really? Yeah, like if you had some clueless novice screwing around okay, with- Okay, well, whoever that was, I'm sure they were only pony. Thank you. Wait, if you brought yourself here, can you send us home? Trixie, the great and powerful, can do anything. Oh, fantastic. How do we get in touch with her? I am Trixie, the great and powerful. Uh, never mind. Hmm. Princesses, eh? Or I could try to find Pinky. But where would I find Pinky? Feel the fourth. Feel the fourth. Feel what the heck is DeviantArt? I can't even get a link there from this site anymore. Maybe if I post one in the description? I know, that sounds like a pain and no one would want to go there. Fans! Adoring fans! Where would you like me to go next? To see the princesses or Pinkie Pie? Anytime. You're just running down the timer, click on something. It's not that hard. Anytime now. Whenever you wanna. Just click. Click away. God, do you, can you not click a button? Oh, for the love of <sighs> Where am I? <sighs> so, do we laser her now? Wait, 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 wait. Her eyes look fine. Pinky, are you okay? Twilight? That sure sounds like Pinky Man. Yeah. Um, are you okay? Ask her her thoughts on cupcakes. Am I dead? Is this real? She's really shaken up, man. No, you're not dead. We used the spell to summon you. You're in the library. Ah, uh, you just saved my life. And you're all okay. And there's a lot of you. Okay, that's, uh, what's going on? They're from different dimensions. They just started showing up. Wow. 
Things really are broken. Pinky, what the hell is going on? Everything is topsy-turvy outside. And what was that excessive cuteness? And that cocked rat hoof? It looked like you were going to punch our heads off and lack it. I couldn't stop him. I was possessed and... Called it. You must all be so confused. No, actually, it's pretty straightforward, but you should probably fill everyone else in for the sake of exposition. Uh, okay. Well, bottom line is there's a creature, Discord, an all-powerful manipulator of the Fourth, out to kill us all. Another one? How many of these stupid demigods have a bone to pick with us? The heck did we do to them? Wait, how did this happen? Where did he come from? I think it was all our mucking around with the Fourth. That's what freed him. Wait, so you brought him here? Oh, I'm sorry. Who wanted movie tickets to see the snack? The snack. The snack. The snack. The snack. Look, we're all in danger. No, no, I can't be here. I need to go. No, we gotta stick together, man. No, you don't understand. I can't stop him. You can't? Twilight, he can do anything. Rip you apart. Destroy the planet at the snap of his fingers. I can't outright him. I can't out-edit him. I almost just got crushed to death. Half of the time, I can't even escape his presence. He is too powerful. And there's nothing we can do. Pinky. I, I, I can't stay here. He'll find me and he'll put you all at risk. I can't go through that again. Uh, but what, what should we do? Run. Hide. Hope to God he doesn't find you. Just get out of here. All of you. Okay. That's... Alright. Oh, that's it. No. It, game over, man. Game over. No. No, no. It, it's not over yet. What? We, we still have all of ourselves here, you know. Maybe we can think of something oh, to- Oh no. The wise owl's twilight has called upon the wise owl. The wise owl needs to depart. You must continue this journey on your own. What? No, this twilight calls upon you. You stay here! The wise owl is sorry. But the Wise Owl's universe is far more important. Like hell it is! You stay here! The Wise Owl is sure you can call upon your universe as the Wise Owl. It'll be fine. You'll be fine. Don't you dare leave! Look to yourself, Twilight. You are more than what you have become. What, are you zenning me? Don't zen me! Remember who you are. I'm Twilight! You stay here! Remember. Remember. Fine! Who needs ya? At least we have- Oh, sheesh. This timeline's going dark ending fast. Look, we'd love to help, but, um, oh, you know, we just have so much else going on in our universe. No, no, not you too. Come on, Twilight. What could we possibly have going on? You know, we've got our own storylines to worry about. This Discord guy sounds like a pretty big deal. And boy, our hooves will be full. Dealing with that guy ourselves any day now, I'm sure. We haven't done anything in years. We haven't even met Sakura yet. Hush now, quiet now, Clutter Sky. Okay, bye! I'll clutter your sky. Come on! What about you? You gonna leave too? Twilight, look at me. I watched 492 different versions of my world get wiped out by extraterrestrial monsters. 492 times I tried and failed to save everyone and everything I ever knew! Well, that's not... Why on earth would you say that? How is that comforting? No, listen. Even in spite of all that, I never gave up. And because of that, we stopped the apocalypse and finally saved everyone. But every universe runs on its own set of rules, and the way my friends and I saved the day won't necessarily work for you. I can't tell you what you need to do. That's something only you all can figure out for yourselves. And I genuinely believe you will. Now while you ruminate on that, I've got to run back to my dimension too! Later! Oh god. What the hell do we do? What the hell are we gonna do, man? I... I don't know. Where'd everybody go? Oh, hey. They all ran. There's a creature called Discord coming to destroy us. Discord? Yeah. You heard of him? Well, he's dead over in my little neck of the- what, Dead? Uh, huh? He's dead? Oh, yeah, yeah. No, Princess Celestia stabbed him through the heart centuries ago with the spear fashioned from the tooth of the world serpent Nidhogg. They go over that in, like, first grade. Th that's crazy! Wh can you, like, get the spear? Y'all want me to get the spear in Nidhogg? Yes! I mean, I think. Okay, because... I mean, the entire world as we know it is imploding, so I think that would help. Well, like all ancient artifacts, the spear was sent to a museum. I'm sure they'll understand if you explain... And then got lost. All that remains of the spear are legends, and I guess Celestia, and first grade history class. Oh, we could really use a weapon like that. Yeah, but could you, though? Yes! Because this has happened before with, like, a giant apple monster, and this other AJ was like, I'll eat all the apples. Can you get the spear or not? Well... 
you know, I mean, it'd be such a significant journey, but I think I could- Well then do it! Get the spear! Oh my god! Alright, alright, but only because I got your hopes riled by bringing it up in the first place. Thank you. Thank you so much. We'll work on things here. Just come back as soon as you can. I'm going! If I said I'd go, that means I'll go. I'm element of honesty, gosh dang it. Well, that, that's something, I guess. No way a guarantee. I suppose we could... I mean, why not the elements? Yeah, yeah, maybe. Oh, but I don't know. Could they? We don't even have Pinky here either. That wouldn't work. Let me think. Discord. You know what? We're in a library. Let's do some research.
Wait. I sense a disturbance. Gotcha. Is that it? Wow, you really can't take it. Oh, oh my god, that was annoying. I swear to god, I will oh. burn. Ugh. Ha! Didn't see that one coming, did you? Uh-oh. Enough of this. Uh. Memes, really? How pathetic uh. and dated. I thought you had higher standards. No! You aren't worming your way out of this one. Oh, yeah? Pathetic. Have you forgotten already? You are a mere wielder of this power, while I am the master of it. It's over. Luna has betrayed Celestia. Sombra has destroyed Luna. And after I kill you, the elements of harmony will no longer be a threat. And I will be free. A world of infinite possibilities. It's been fun. Farewell, Pinky. <sighs> Wait. Where is she? She who? Who are you talking about? <laughs> well, now I've done all I could do. Actually... Anyone find anything yet? Well, this book talks about an amulet of Samarkand. It says it can withstand insane amounts of magic. No, no, that was shattered centuries ago when someone knocked it off a table. Hey, I found a book. Whoa, um, in a library? You did that? This book is titled, How to Turn a Show Pony into a Go Pony. Oh, that's about dating. You can ignore that, that's not gonna help us. Have you read that book, Twilight? No, I, no. Can we just stay focused here? So, are you a show pony or a go pony? Actually, this whole section of the library is about relationship advice. Oh, huh. Well. Why, why do you have so many books on dating advice? Uh, pff, it's not like I read any of them or anything. It's, you know. Yeah, that's pretty obvious. Um, Twilight, you even footnoted this one. When your nightmare's a nightmare. <laughs> Guys, we haven't much time. Tracy! I what? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Pinky! Good news! We found out a way to defeat Discord! What, did you find the Spear of Noglob? No, what? No. What? No, we, we can use the elements of harmony! That's what I said! Okay, I told right, you! Right, the right, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Work. I, I should have listened to Applejack. I'm sorry. Okay, fine, whatever. So, mind melting then? Um, I guess that makes things easier. I am a go pony. We don't have much time. Discord is coming here. Where are the elements? They're in this book! Fantastic! Alright, let's burn this bridge. <gasps> what happened? It's over. Sombra's dead. Already? Wow. Well done. And the zombies? All collapsed. Phantom Menace style. Ugh, so lame. Totally. Did you kiss him? What? No! Eh, your loss. He was always easily distracted by a full-on lip lock. I didn't need to kiss him. Which monologue did he do? The I am your father, or the Celestia engineered the war speech? The Celestia one, word for word, just like you said he would. I took a class. Mind me, he never learns. And man, can he monologue. Ugh, no kidding. I mean, can you imagine a universe where Sombra didn't speak? Or says like one or two words? One can only dream. It took him forever to get to the question. And when you said no? Uh, well, actually I said yes. What? I wanted to shake things up a little, catch him off guard a bit, without kissing him. I'm impressed. You've grown so much over these past few years. Yeah, then I just beat him up, but whatever. Something wrong, Luna? Celestia, can I ask you something? Shoot. Also, did it snow? Guess you were right about the comet, huh? Did... did you start this war because you were bored? What? Just 
what Sombra said about you, about orchestrating all this. And you believe him? It was you who declared war. I had no choice. Okay, I had no good choice. Really? Luna, I... No! How could I even attempt to engineer something like that? It wasn't like I spent 45 months scheming to create the political circumstances that would ultimately result in the return of two evil powers and my eventual deliverance of Equestria from their clutches in an epic and glorious war. You did do it, didn't you? No. No, I didn't. You're serious? I did not create a war just because I was bored. Okay. I had other reasons. Celestia! I'm kidding! I'm kidding! Jeez, you're so gullible. Okay, Celestia, I can't tell if you're joking or not. Please, just tell me. I like that you think that I'm clever enough to do something like that. Uh, it really shows how highly you think of me. Just shut up, sunbutt. Ah. Princesses, I need your help in Equestria. Immediately! There's the disturbance. Get ready, girls. Discord. We are the elements of harmony, and we are here to... <laughs> Monologuing. Really. Next, you'll be coming up with a new rainbow-based catchphrase. And good. Pinky's here as well. <laughs> What? They came back? Well, duh! I was just running home to call for backup! Elements of parody? Let's give this guy something to laugh about! Camaraderie is supernatural. What a surprise. I liked it better when you were dead. Ah! What on earth? Murder! Murder! Where are you guys coming from? Is there a leak or something? Enough! Sorry, universe is closed. Good job. You're all gonna die here. Well, this was fun. The lengths you will go to survive. Slipping away video by video, but no more. And for all our loyal viewers, did you really think that they could friendship me to oblivion? I suppose I should thank you though. Without your support and watching this series, I wouldn't be here today. We've had a good run over these past few years. But all good things must come to an end. Just not me. Truth be told, Netflix texted me. I know, right? Discord, the musical, does have a nice ring to it. But first, I've got to wrap up these loose ends. So, thanks for watching. The end. Hello, gnome. <laughs> Where my lawn ornaments? After seven years out of the game. That was amazing. I can't believe you came back. Of course. I broke the laws of time and space multiple times just to save my dimension. I wasn't about to abandon yours when you needed the help. We'll never forget this. <laughs> Anytime. But now that that's done, it's time for us to head on home. Take care, other S's. You too. Thank you. Thank you so much. And buy some duct tape. It's great for patching extra dimensional leakage. <laughs> Well, it was a lot of work, but good news! I found the Spear of Nidhogg! Yep, it was a whole thing! Once I crossed that threshold, I met unlikely allies in the form of Paragraph the Wise and Thumprock the Diamond Dog. I had an incredible whirlwind romance, but my lover was lost in a heroic sacrifice at the pinnacle of the action, and I will never forget his gentle smile. Oh, right, the Noghob Spear! That's... Uh, listen, thanks for coming, but, um... I... We, we don't really need it anymore. That's great! That is great! Great! What am I supposed to do with the spear of Nidhogg? Um... Can you pick fruit with the spear? 
Can't fix the dang fence, which by the way, I put off for this stupid adventure. You're welcome. Well, that just goes to show you. Monologue as you deal the death blow. Kill two birds with one stone. Good advice. Wait, what? Do what? Princess Celestia. Ah, Twilight Sparkle, my faithful student. You saved us. But of course, you're all my little ponies. Was there ever any doubt? Yes. Ah, the balloon one. I remember you. So, we meet again under the most unusual No, shh, don't, don't, don't do that. I thought you might be dead. How did you- Well, you thought wrong. Nice job. And it's a good thing, too. Looks like I arrived just in time to save the day. Well, you didn't really do anything. The elements captured Discord. And would they have done so if I had not shown up? <sighs> no. And that's all we needed, baby. But how come all those other times we needed help, you didn't show up? Oh, don't even go there, Balloon Butt. There's still plenty of room on the moon for you. Celestia. Um, but how did you know we were in trouble? Oh, I know everything. <clears throat> and this little one told us. Hello, everybody. I thought it might be prudent to have a backup plan. Trixie? You're alive! She also came up with the idea of sending Discord a text from Netflix. I, what? I thought we sent him net from Textflix. Whatever. Oh, Trixie, that was brilliant. Yeah, I know. Wait, so is everything back to normal? Oh my god, it, it is. Discord's captured again. We did it. We saved the world. And Luna here defeated Sombra. <gasps> Seriously? <laughs> yeah. The war in the north is over. Oh, that's fantastic. Hey, I'm not afraid anymore. I'm not afraid anymore. And we are no longer doomed. Wh Whoa, where did you come from? I was hiding out in the library. Wait, you were just in there the whole time? Hello. Hello. The mayor here. And now I like everyone. Except you. What are you doing here? Put that down. Hey, hey! Um, and we have everyone here safe and sound. And Apple Bloom will be coming home. And oh my god! Is that Kevin Bacon? What? Where? It is! Ah, what is he doing here? It looks like he's handing out snacks and surviving signed copies of the snack to throngs of adored orphans. For free! Darn it! Th that's just the sort of thing he would do. This is just the best day. What a day. Discord's back in stone, Sombra's dead, again. Yeah, what? Well, it was quite exhausting, you know, me saving the world, defeating Discord. Well, I mean, Celestia technically defeated Discord, but, I, you know. Yeah, but why do you think they showed up when they did? That was me. What did you do today, Twilight? Oh, had a picnic and uh, rallied a bunch of ponies from other dimensions to aid us in our darkest hour. Oh, what? So you just gathered up a bunch of ponies and had a party and ate a lot of food and talk. Well, that explains why you look so- Trixie, I just saw Barry Punch in the kitchen. You won't believe what she's doing. Oh my God, I'm finally gonna know. Thanks. Happy to help. But seriously, you won't believe what she's doing. Yeah. Uh. So. Any other disturbances? Nope, I feel great. Except, even though the fort's been resealed, I can't read the script anymore. Whoa, really? Well, I can, but only what's already been written. And to be honest, I don't want to take a chance on freeing Discord again. So I prefer not knowing what will happen next. Hmm. Well, come to think of it, hasn't it always been like that? What do you mean? You said it yourself. The script is always changing. No matter how much power you have, you can never completely control the future. Discord learned that the hard way. Yeah, I guess so. So all we can do is what we can, and hope for the best. You did good, Pinky. Both you and Trixie. Thanks, but I couldn't have done it without all of you. <laughs> hey, everyone. Everyone, hey! Hey, turn off the music, hey! I want to make a toast. When I first got to Ponyville, I knew books and magic. But I didn't really understand friendship. I certainly didn't understand any of you. Mangoes and dresses, the fourth, the rabbits, the bird. But over these past few years, I've learned that it's more important to enjoy the journey than to reach the destination. And enjoying the journey is all about having good friends to share it with. I am so grateful to have all of you here tonight, and truly honored to have you all as my friends. To a long and wonderful friendship. Cheers. Cheers! Berry Punch, put down the plunger!